There's something in the water at the Baton Rouge Zoo, and it's not the pelicans. Pygmy hippos. It's a face only a mother or another pygmy hippo could love. We're crossing our fingers that our female is pregnant. It's really hard to tell in pygmy hippos. In wild animals, pregnancy is a guessing game. You don't just take a blood sample, you have to watch for signs, like the way the female pushes the male around. Oh, she might be hormonal, give her a break. <laughs> She's not the only one. She's kind of gotten a little more bulbous. Over in the giraffe pen, this little lady may be ready to give birth to a calf the size of Shaquille O'Neal. The babies, when they're born, are about 10% the weight of the mother. In all, more than five animal species at the zoo may deliver babies before the end of summer, the zebra included. We forewarn everyone, you know, there might be something in the water at the zoo. And several birds have laid eggs. They can get a little testy. There we go, Judy. Aside from a little extra food, those expecting at the zoo don't get a whole lot of pampering. Which one in there you think is pregnant is going to have a baby? That one. It's not the big one. It's, a, it's the other one behind it. No, it's not that one. Actually, it's trainer Jen Fortune. Ooh, that is something there, Judy. <laughs> they don't make me climb into the moat anymore or climb into small holes too much. There are more bongo antelopes in zoos around the world than there are in the wild. If this little lady has a baby as expected, that baby could make its way back to the mountains of East Africa. If she does, it's Mary Wood's job to tell us about it. She may not make it. The inside joke at the zoo right now is who's gonna give who's gonna give birth first, Mary or the giraffe? Five animals. Good girl, Buzz. Three employees. The stork is gonna be busy this summer. So if you're planning a trip to Baton Rouge's Breck Zoo, you may want to bring your own water. Or risk leaving with a little something extra. Rick Porche, WAFE 9 News.